Well, I just picked, I just picked up uh, about uh, over 40 sacks of mulch. I guess we have plans on uh, putting another top coat of mulch on top of our front yard so it looks better, looks nicer. The only bummer about it is this, this, this mesh that I purchased that was real expensive, like 30 bucks a roll. I purchased like six or seven rolls of those. And I laid them all out on the front lawn and the parkway and weeds, and the weeds still grow through it. It's designed, it was manufactured to hold back the weeds from sprouting through the soil up through the ground. And it didn't do it. It's the, the fibers are too, are not strong enough to hold back the weeds from growing through it. So it didn't really, I spent all that money on, on, on mesh and it didn't even work. So, uh, uh, so, uh, that's why it didn't work because, uh, the fibers aren't strong enough. So I don't want to use plastic because plastic's going to smother it. You're supposed to let it aerate. It's supposed to be able to aerate the soil, you know, oxygen, oxygenate and, uh, so it meshes good because it's airflow. So if you put plastic on it, you're gonna smother it and it's gonna turn into like rotten smush. And I don't want that to happen to the soil. So uh, I'm just gonna have to have to weed it every time it rains. After, after each rain, I have to pull the weeds. Just keep up on it. So it's just another thing you know you try to make it easier but uh, can't completely control nature or can they with this uh, AI technology they're able even to control the weather with it the weather and maybe even planetary uh, orbits <laughs>